Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is how spanning tree protocol reacts to network changes such as a link failure. Last time, I talked about how switches exchange Hello BPDUs to get a loop-free network by electing a root bridge, getting the best path to the root bridge, and assigning rows to ports. Once the network becomes stable, the root bridge would send out Hello BPDUs to other switches every two seconds, a default Hello timer in the Hello BPDU frame. In this example, even though the link BC is blocked to prevent a loop, switch B still forward Hello BPDU through this designated port to switch C. The blocked port simply drops any Hello BPDU. Now let's talk about port row and port state. A switch port can have three different rows, road port, designated port, and a blocked port. Besides, a port has one of the five states, forwarding, learning, listening, blocking, and disabled. Both road port and designated port are in the forwarding state, sending and receiving frames. A blocked port is in the blocking state and it will not forward any frames. A port in the listening and learning states are temporary and transitional between the blocking state and the forwarding state. Any port in the disabled state will not participate in STP. Some people are confused about why a port has both a row and a state. And what's the difference? Why do we need both a row and a state anyway? Let me use one analogy to explain. In my college, people have different roles, such as professors and students. A professor's role is to teach and advise, and a student's role is to study and learn. Well, in theory, each professor or student can be in different states, like working, studying, eating, sleeping, or taking a vacation. Going through different states, one can change his role, like after studying for several years, a student can become a professor, or a professor can become a student again if he likes. Now back to our topic. What if something happens, like an active link breaks? How does STP react? The process involves many terms such as BPDU timers in BPDU frame. If you are not familiar with them, please check my last videos about BPDU timers, otherwise please continue. Suppose the link AC breaks and switch C stops receiving hello message from a road bridge A, switch C will not immediately respond and simply waits. But how long? Now BPDU max age timer comes into play. The max age by default is 20 seconds, and that's the switch C's maximum waiting time. After 20 seconds, STP will take action to help switch C to find an alternative way to reach the road bridge. First, STP changes the state of the blocked port from the blocking state to the listening state. Port in the listening state will not forward frames, but just listening for any change on the network. The listening state lasts for 15 seconds, which are the default time in forward delay field of a Hello BPDU frame. After the listening state, the port transmits to the learning state. The port in the learning state will not forward frames, just like the listening state 
but it starts learning MAC addresses and updating its MAC address table. The learning state lasts for 15 seconds before changing to the forwarding state. Again, this 15 second is forward delay default time. This self-healing process takes about 50 seconds, 20 second waiting time, 15 seconds in the listening state and 15 seconds in the learning state. After 50 seconds, the blocked port then becomes a new root port on switch C. At the same time, the original root port becomes a blocked port and the link AC is blocked. Switch C reconnects the root bridge through switch B. The link BC is now in business. A new loop frame network is created. STP gets the network up and running again. During this process, you might see the maximum waiting time seems too long and the listening state and the learning state seems like a waste of time. A new version of STP is much needed to reduce the total convergence time. Well, you are right. As the network becomes larger and larger, a better version of STP is introduced, Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol, which is my topic in the next video. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much and see you next time.